welcome back to Survival with Fix. We are back here in Steelport. Yeah, not the end. We did a lot of work on the end in the moon base last episode. It's really, really cool. I mean, I am loving that base a lot. But today, I want to get back into this. I want to build a new building. And it's going to be a pretty big one. I actually want to take up most of this space here. And I think I know exactly how I want to do it. So we're going to be doing a U-shaped building with a little bit of a diagonal over there. So yeah, we're going the whole way over here to the road. So uh, I'm going to have this connected right here to this building for now. Is, is, do, I, do I have... Do I shuffle in? Yeah, I do. Okay, I, just, I want a two to one mixture of stone to uh, stone brick uh, here. I, I think that'll be just the right mixture for the lower part. And then as we go up, I think I'm probably going to change either either a white or actually very likely a sandstone again because this is gray and I don't want it to be the exact same as that. And that's white. So yeah, we'll probably do either sandstone or maybe even. Maybe even mud. I don't know. I don't. We'll, we'll see what the second. Half. The second half could be anything. The reference image that I'm looking at right now is actually sandstone, but it, it, you know it, it doesn't really matter. It could be, it could be anything. So we're gonna go over here. And I'm gonna lay out this sort of outline here together, and then we're just gonna build up and just frame it in roughly to about. Let's see. We're gonna go. This shape is gonna be very odd. It's actually gonna be. It's gonna kind of feel like multiple buildings in one if you know what I mean I, you'll you'll see what I mean once we get sort of a, an overhead view but yeah we'll do something like this I think that'll be good actually no I lied we're gonna come back one because I forgot I have this retaining wall over here all right then we'll do this over here I'll show you in just a second once I get this all laid out I think this is going to be the basic shape. Now, this is actually going to be two buildings, like I say. It's going to be divided where the first building is going to be right along here. And then this building from, you see right where that corner is, it's going to go straight across. And that's going to be the other building. But something I've noticed when I've been driving around downtown Pittsburgh, where I live, is how there are some buildings that have the base level that are like the same, the same sort of palette. Like clearly they've been built at the same time or redone at the same time or used a facade or something. And then the upper parts are clearly two different buildings. And that's what I want to try here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little divider just so like I know where it is right over here. And then uh, I don't know if I'm going to need this divider or not, but yeah, this is going to be basically where the divider is going to be. So uh, this will be one building in this very odd shape. And then over here, just simple straight rectangle for the other one. I think that'll be a little bit easier to figure out. Also, I want this one to be taller and this one to be a little shorter so that it's not the same height as that one. But yeah, these are going to be apartment buildings with probably like a storefront down in the bottom. Like maybe maybe a store, maybe a restaurant. I don't know. Something I really, really want to get better at is doing the interiors. Well, just in general in Minecraft all over the place, but especially here in this area because I want you to be able to walk into a building. Now, look, I know that I'm not going to do every room going in all these places but at least the first floor right I want you to be a walk in the first floor and say like oh this is you know that or the whatever it is supposed to be I just it'd make a big big difference right over here this is all gonna be like sidewalk over here maybe a little fountain or something but yeah this is just gonna be sidewalk I want to fill it in get rid of all this grass so it really starts to look like well like you know like a city like it's supposed to look like all paved over with li limited but planned nature seg segments right does that make sense that's what I want to go for. Okay, things are coming along here. I do like the looks of this uh, layout so far. I'm going to leave the second building to go for right now and really just work on this first one. I, did, I wanted to break up. So, okay, so let, let's talk a little bit about building design. If you take a look at this building, for example, this is one of my earlier sort of of this style that I've ever done. If you look, every floor, exactly the same, unbroken, blah, blah. And that's definitely a style that I've seen online. Same thing here, right? Exactly the same the whole way through. Uh, this basically the same, that one does get broken up a little bit, but what I have noticed is a lot of buildings have a similar idea as over here, but they have vertical breakups here. So that's what I did here. I put in a vertical breakup there, one there, and I think I did, yeah, one over there as well. Now, other than these three, the rest of this is going to be vertically exactly the same after this level. So this this one's actually gonna have two bases. It's gonna have the stone base down there. It's gonna have this diorite base. And then as we go up, we're gonna get into the sandstone. In this Inside this diorite base, I might actually just use like 
bone block or concrete powder, something that's kind of whitish, and then we'll get into brown for all the rest of the way up. And I don't know how much higher we're gonna go than this. I capped these off at 110, maybe, maybe higher, probably higher, but at least for right now, I think that'll be okay. That all being said, I need to bring in some grass and, oh man, I might actually just do a floor here, like just do a wooden floor just so I can tell that there's a floor. That seems kind of weird. I don't really need to do it, but it makes me feel better to have a floor in a building. You know, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm going to do that next. I'm going to put down the floor and some grass and then, well, we'll see what's next. The walls are roughed in and I am trying my very, very best to like this birch. I mean, look, I see people use it. I do. I see people use it and they're like, oh, that's kind of cool. But then I'm looking at it like, it's oh, not very good. But look, I'm going to trust it. I'm going to trust that it's all going to blend together, especially once I get some windows in there, because obviously that is pretty uh, not interesting. But that's okay. We're just roughing it in. We rough it in first, detail it later. Okay, well... All right, I'm just, I'm going to, I'm going to trust it somehow. Somehow I'm going to trust it. But the next thing I want to do is I want to bring in some sandstone. I don't have very much of it, unfortunately. I, excuse me. Wow. You, you know, if you've been on the channel for a while, you may have noticed that I never burp on the mic. I think a lot of people never burp on the mic, but I don't know how to burp. This is one of my, one of my great life secrets. I actually literally do not know how to burp. I, people have tried to explain it to me. They've tried to tell me, oh, just drink pop or swallow air or do this, but I have never been able to. I've burped a total of maybe like eight times in my entire life. Probably more when I was a baby, but I don't remember that, so it doesn't count. Yeah, it's weird. I just, just. Just out of my mouth, just a little, little, little burp there. So I, I'm not, I'm not going to edit it out. I'm just going to leave it there for all of your, uh, your enjoyment. I decided I need to make something out of this other factory, and I've been cutting out a lot of spruce recently. So yeah, I'm making it into that's that that one's not right. I'm making this into a uh, a vanilla spruce farm. That's gonna be sort of my my main idea here. And uh, yeah, I'm just doing it really simply, and all it is gonna be basically is just rows of of dirt or grass or whatever, and then inside of it is gonna be just these water streams that are just gonna bring the spruce saplings and any logs that appear or just down hopefully the whole way down to a little bit of a mini collection thing then what i'll do is in that see that grass opening right there i'll have a door uh, probably over here maybe like right around here like a basement door access that's going to go down and collect all the spruce so yeah this should work really well it should be very simple and then we can just plant rows and rows and rows i keep saying spruce I, i've said spruce 100 birch Birch is what I meant to say. This is going to be a birch harvesting area. Birch, not spruce. Darn it all. I should re-record that, but I won't. I'll let you know how, how imbecilic I sound at times. Okay. Okay, well, I think this should work really well. I actually decided to go alternating oak and, and birch, but I don't have that many oak saplings, so maybe I'll come come back to I don't know. I don't know if that's smart or not. You know, I'm going to get the big, tall oak trees, so I think one thing I'm going to do to limit that is actually put a low roof on this, but I'm going to go ahead and let these grow so I know exactly where to put the roof. I might even do a second layer I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but yeah, I definitely don't want those extra tall oak trees to grow. That is going to mess up. That's just going to be awful. That's going to be awful for harvesting. So that all being said, I think it's pretty cool so far. Okay, it's been a while. I've been working on some building here, obviously. This house is coming along. Over here also, by the way, these trees have uh, been harvested once, and I went ahead and put this at the top. I think it seems to be working. I have no more big oak trees, but the oak is growing, so should be good. I've decided to go with just a spruce mixture for the inside of this wall. You know, do I love it? I, I think it's gonna blend in really well. I have generally stayed away from wood in this style for like walls and stuff, but because in this in this texture pack that I use, I have the sort of uh, reversed planks, like the, the vertical planks. I think it does make it look extra cool and you know, it's gonna be something I wanna use a lot in the future, especially in, in another upcoming kingdom for the vertical plank idea. But I think, yeah, this is, I, yeah, I think it's gonna look cool. It almost looks kind of futuristic. It almost looks like sheet metal or something like that, even though it's very clearly wood and brown and all that stuff. But yeah, I think it's going to be really cool. I kind of gave up texturing as we went because placing two slabs as you hop is kind of a pain. So I'm going to come back in and texture later on. What's going to go inside this big building? 
I think this actually may be my upcoming manual spruce farm. Maybe just kind of like that, except for spruce. Yeah, I think it's going to look cool. And I, I am starting to really believe in this building. I, I like the shape of it. I think it's going to be really cool, but it's a lot of work. I mean, it's large. It's very large and it's taking a long time to put in. But, you know, it is going to help fill out the street. I mean, look at this. Look at the Main Street view. Oh, man, it's going to look so good. Love it. Carl Winters was walking late one night from his farmhouse in Maplevale north to the town of Sangill. His girlfriend, well, the girl he hoped would become his girlfriend, lived there and was expecting him. Walking across Fink's bridge, he heard a terrible guttural moan from underneath. The first time he thought it had just been his imagination. The second, though, he found himself staring down between the planks of the bridge through the darkness underneath into the two most evil and horrible eyes he'd ever seen. Carl didn't need to wait for the third growl. He took off running. Being a 17-year-old boy who had spent his entire life working the fields for his family, Carl was in prime physical shape. Still, though, he pushed his limits. As he sprinted up the road, weaving along the coastline, Carl tried to collect himself. That was no bandit, he thought as he ran. The sound it made. It was an it, not a man, not a him, waiting to steal any valuables travelers might have in the middle of the night. No, it. What was it? He had seen zombies, they weren't completely uncommon, and living outside the city walls, it was just something one had to deal with. Those eyes, though, they were intense. Zombies have dead eyes. It's painfully obvious that there's nothing going through whatever is left of their minds. But whatever it was under the bridge, that was something else entirely. Finally, Carl rounded the final corner in the road leading to Sandgill. The warm lights washed over him, sending a strong sense of relief coursing through his bones. Still, though, Carl didn't stop until he opened the tavern door and shut it firmly behind him, closing out the cold air and whatever it was underneath that bridge. Okay, it is almost 4 a.m. I've been going really hard tonight, and I really like the look of this building. I think it has more tiers than maybe any of the other buildings that I have so far. It looks really cool. I mean, it, you know, obviously we're not done yet. It's still very blah. It looks very, it almost looks like a procedurally generated Minecraft building, doesn't it? Like, it's just very, like, like if Mojang were to implement this into the game, you know, this is maybe what it'd be. So uh, I do want to go in and add a lot more detail, probably simple like flower boxes, maybe some hanging lanterns, even a couple balconies, maybe just stuff like that. Like very simple, uh, easy to uh, do stuff. But yeah, it's coming along. I really like the look of it. Definitely a little garden here and some detail work, but it is definitely, definitely a nice addition to this place. I mean, when you're walking down here, oh yeah, it just like towers up over your head. Yeah, it looks really, really cool. This is going to be a, basically a different building. Um, it's going to look completely different from this side, but if you look at it from over on this side, it's going to have a very similar sort of front base. See how this is still in the same, this is the same path down here. And obviously these need to be all done too. These are going to be sort of some open shops and stuff that are down below. And this is going to be indeed a spruce farm. This is going to be where I start harvesting all my spruce. In fact, I actually have an idea of how I'm going to do it. I'm going to put a water elevator and then you're just going to be able to go up the water elevator and glide to the top of a tree and then cut it down and just rinse and repeat that way i don't have to constantly use my rockets which is how i do it right now yeah okay good work good work me in an effort to work more on the well interiors i did start doing just sort of boxing this off because this room is absolutely massive and there's no need for the whole entire thing to be decorated. So I just put up a wall and each of those can maybe be a little shop, threw in some sidewalks here, a nice little awning over here. I tried to do... I, I didn't want to do a whole gradient. Yeah, this has been happening recently, and it's been really bumming me out. I don't know why. It's very new. I'm getting these chunk light borders, so I don't know. I may have to check out maybe a lighting engine mod or something like that. It's just started the last couple days. So, uh, yeah, like little, like a little storage room, maybe a little shop. I don't know. Just, you know, simple, simple little stuff here. And what we're going to do is we're going to make each of these into just a, a shop for an item in the game. That's going to be the idea. Because up above here, that's the birch and oak tree farm in this 
the spruce farm up there. So I think things are going really well, but I have to do another project in this town and I need to actually build something for a set for a video about three episodes ago. So right now I'm actually recording three episodes in the future. I'm just kind of waiting on a couple things I don't have at this moment. And I think that what I want to do is come up here and I'm gonna build Steve Tepic's new office here. I think this would be a perfect place for his office. Maybe right here. This is the, yeah, this is the bottom slab. So this could be his office maybe, or maybe with this window. I don't know. Yeah, this could work really well. So what we're going to do is we're going to do basically a table and an office. So let's see how I want to work this out. I think this works out pretty well here. I just hung up some, you know, trying to get all the torches off the ground, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I think this is going to work okay for a table. I have a little screen there in case we want to have some sort of uh, lore segments that have a screen. And I got six people, six benches here, six chairs for the council members and should be good. The only thing I want to bring in more is I do want to bring in some leaves, just some like decorative plants and stuff like that. And uh, I think I should probably finish this up. I, you know, I wouldn't mind actually hanging up some... Uh, some some lights up there. Let's do that as well. Let me see here. Maybe just uh, let's just come up like this, and maybe just a chain. I don't want to, this is not big enough to have the whole fence uh, combo here. So let's do a chain like there. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay, cool. That should do that. And then I think I should be ready to animate this next little lore segment of the council meeting, which you actually saw probably what three episodes ago. I think maybe two episodes ago. And uh, yeah, okay, I like it. I like it. That's cool. You know, I was going to add a bunch of flower boxes and awnings and stuff. I think we even talked about that a couple clips ago. But honestly, the more I look at this, the more I just really like that it's just plain. You know, I think it looks a lot more modern. And that's good. That's a good thing. We want a nice mixture of modern and also a little older. And that, I think, is really, really cool. The thing I don't like about it, and it's very close, but the roof. I like the roof in general, but it's just a little bit of the same old thing. And I want to mix that up just a hair. Not a ton not absolutely huge but some so i think one of the things i want to do right away here is just put in maybe like and i'm gonna have to take some of these off i, I want to put in a uh the, like a little house like a, maybe it would be like like as if it were a stairwell coming up to the top because i figure like you know maintenance workers and stuff like that would need a way up to the roof so i was just thinking like something like not big, but like this big. And all that's going to do is that's going to break up the flatness of the roof. I think that's going to make a really big deal. I was looking at a lot of pictures of like sort of like a turn of the century buildings and stuff like that. And this flat roof style definitely came a little bit later, like back in uh, 1800, 1820, 1840. All the pictures I could see were always the peaked roofs, like kind of like that one over there. But I, I am already committed to a flat roof here. And these those came a little bit later. And maybe that was because they didn't want the roof to cave in when it snowed or something. I, I don't know. And definitely snow is something to be thought of here, you know, but uh, I, I think we're going to be okay. So we're just going to build this up just like this. And then uh, down in these other areas, like down there, I, mean, I have all this black stone. I'm going to set up a couple little chimneys, just like an exhaust for the furnace or for the central heating thing. If they have central heating, that's not something I've really thought through all that much, but yeah, it's very simple. Just kind of like this. I think that's going to add a lot, you know, like if you, when you look up here, you're like, oh, that's just how the maintenance workers and stuff get up here. No windows or anything, just plain. Yeah, it's cool. You know what's always bugged me in Minecraft is the paintings. I, I've never liked them, and uh, I think it's time to change them out. And I, I have an idea. It's an old idea, but yeah, I have an idea. All right, tell me if you recognize this. Huh? Anyone? Yeah, the old, the old vast and uh, uh, painting texture pack. Yeah, I, I went ahead and stuck it in, you know, because like, after all, a lot of these builds were mine. Uh, let me see about this one. This was in Gravenwall. Uh, I, I actually think maybe none of these ones pictured were mine from the old Vastin team, but but maybe, maybe somewhere. Let's try uh, this one. Oh, look, the Realm of Vast. Okay, that one's a little on the nose uh, with, the, with the title. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so nice. Now, I don't know why I'm getting that weird lighting thing. In fact, actually, I've had some lighting problems since upgrading to this version, so I may need to may need to recheck out my my mods here because I'm not 
I'm not really sure what's going on with Sandrasco. Yeah, this is going to be the new painting uh, texture. These are all basically just screenshots that I have now remapped into paintings, and I think they look really, really nice. I really like them. I got a few other stores to do, so we'll finish those and then uh, take a look at hopefully the completed build. I think that's going to do it. You know, it, these interiors are not the greatest thing that's ever been done since uh, sliced bread or whatever. But, you know, at least if you look in, there's something in all of them except for this uh, one that is just storage. But, yeah, there's something in all of them. There's little, uh, this is like a eating area. There's like an aquarium store or whatever. You know, it's something. Look, it's something. Okay, it's something. I, I, I'm no interior design expert, nor do I ever claim to want to be. But at least there's something in this particular place. I have a little bit more I want to work on here. That's a, so just a little bit decorating here in the front that's gonna be where these bushes come in uh, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna do something like this I, I don't think I want anything really really like set in stone or anything I think I just want just a little bit I don't want to say overgrowth just some stuff that's there on the sidewalk that looks like maybe at one point it was a little bush and uh, then it got a little bit bigger uh, yeah nothing in here that's okay we don't need every single interior to have something fancy right I uh, do a door I'll put a door on there there we go. Now you'll never see inside. Ha ha. The question or comment of the day is from longtime viewer and friend Andy Days. Thanks so much for the comment. Andy's a YouTuber in his own right, does a bunch of Minecraft and also vintage story stuff. So if you're ever curious, just search Andy Days as spelled in the comments shown right now. Uh, have you ever been tempted to replicate a build that you have made in a previous world or another world? Been loving the series. You sound really like you're enjoying it too. Yeah, firstly, I am really enjoying the series a lot. And it, it's been very fun to sort of get back to my roots of traditional Let's Play, even if it's maybe not the absolute best thing in the entire universe for the channel. And that's okay. I, I, uh, I decided to accept it, right? I decided to accept that this style of let's play is not in vogue anymore necessarily some people say it's dead i don't know if it's dead i think it's hibernating you know i think it's taking a little bit of a break and uh that's okay you know i don't i don't mind that at all um you know it's funny that you ask if i've ever been tempted to replicate a build i've done in previous world because because yeah i'm actually doing that in this series as you know i've been working on the moon base again you know which is really really cool you know there's a zombie and it's driving me crazy i gotta find the zombie all right as i was saying before i got interrupted by just the loudest giant horde there were so many zombies there were just so so many i think there are where, 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 I can't find it. It was in here. Yeah, yeah. Super dark in here. So I will light the, this area up a little bit right now. And uh, yeah, so I've never been tempted to replicate a build that I've done to its fruition before. But I have absolutely, and I am currently doing, a build that I just never quite finished the way I would have liked to. You know what I mean? Like, um, there's a couple builds, like the moon base, a couple other things that I once did, and I just wish I I finished. You know, I wish it, for whatever reason I left. Maybe maybe the server ended or, or whatever. There's another, there's another zombie somewhere. I gotta find it. I gotta find it. I don't know where it is. Man, this is really making me nuts here. Is it in here? No? I gotta find this. Oh, I found it. Oh, man. Okay, what a relief. Anyway, like I was saying, I, yeah, so I've never been really tempted to absolutely replicate a build, but, you know, if I if I never quite got around to finishing it or if I, or I wasn't satisfied with sort of how it looked in the end, then yeah, absolutely. And that's going to be something that I do probably more. I mean, I always feel like, like I, I want to get everything done to its proper conclusion for whatever that is, whatever that means for me, whether for whatever my building ability is at that point in my life, you know, building ability something that it always grows over time and all that kind of stuff so so yeah i i absolutely would would love to go back and sort of revisit some builds that that i just you know i just feel got short changed due to time or circumstances or whatever and and hopefully that'll be something that that we do more of in the future because i think it could be a lot of fun <clears throat> i remember a couple modded builds that i did way back in the day like i did a spaceship build uh, that it, i just got it just got so laggy like i couldn't I couldn't keep going on it, unfortunately. I think I want to say it was like Direwolf 1.10 pack or something like that. I don't remember. It was way back in the day. It wasn't even on YouTube, I don't think. I, it may have been before I started doing YouTube or maybe it was an off-camera series, but I've done very few of those in my life. So, yeah, I don't know. I, but 
you know, doing a spaceship build, that would be something that I could absolutely see, like, coming back to. Something like that. Maybe. And, you know, who knows? We'll see. We'll see what the future holds, what the lore requires for this particular series, because, obviously, everything I do here, it has to be based in that lore, and that's something I embrace and really enjoy as well. But hopefully we'll do a lot more of that in time. But regardless, that's going to do it for me today. Thanks for the question, Andy, and thanks uh, thanks again just for uh, your viewer, being a viewer and, and just being a friend, and, and uh, hopefully we can catch up again soon. It's been a while since we talked. All right, anyway, that's it. Let's check out the build, and I'll see you... Uh, See you next time.